Lesson 50. Wir sind. Lisa, there's not too much to talk about here. Simply, wir is the pronoun. It means we. Sind is the verb. And we're going to see the word sind used in different ways, in different contexts. Much like the English verb are, A-R-E. In English, we can say we are, you are, they are. And so we're going to see sind reused in a couple of different places, right? Right. And you can see here in the exercises when you use via, because it is plural, in number two and in number three, the ein words get the e at the end. So it's wir sind deine Eltern. Deine is a plural form for dein. And wir sind keine Freunde. Keine as a plural form for kein. So in the last lesson, we talked about how you have to match the gender of the ein word with the gender of the noun that you're working with. And now what you're saying is you also have to match the number. If the noun that you're working with is plural, you have to use the form of the ein word that's plural so that they match or they agree. And so for our listeners, this concept that Lisa is talking about is what we call agreement. In number two, the word Eltern is plural, so Dinah must also be plural. Right. And the verb needs to be plural and the pronoun needs to be plural. So they all have to match together. In grammar, we call that agreement. So in English, the word your doesn't have different forms. There's no masculine your, feminine your, or plural your. It's just always the word your. But in German, That same adjective, your, it comes in these different forms. So you have to be aware of which one you're using. If it's plural, masculine, feminine, whatever.